Hello, my name's Crystal Bella and I'm going to talk to you about punishing positive behaviour. This is something that really affected me growing up and actually affected me in quite a negative way. So what I mean by this is for children who have really severe social anxiety, someone that you would call an introvert, whether they're a sibling, they're your child, or someone that you know as a friend. Now, growing up, I was a massive introvert, used to spend a lot of time by myself, used to be really nervous when spending time around people. And I often find myself finally deciding to put myself out there and join family members or join siblings, to then be greeted by very sarcastic comments that were kind of along the lines of, wow, look who finally decided to join us. You know, negative things like that or, you know, something similar like, after all this time, you can actually do X, Y, and Z. Now, family members, siblings, friends might not automatically think that this is a negative thing, but let me tell you, this is a negative thing. If this introverted person is very shy, very nervous, you know, is has that anxiety, to then be welcomed by that negativity is not good that's just going to make that person want to not do what they're about to do and possibly want to spend more time around themselves because they're being punished for doing something that was supposedly positive but then they're still being punished for not doing it so they're being met by sarcasm and kind of negativity when they decide to come out of their shell but then still being negatively kind of commented on when they don't do those things. Now, like I said, I received this a lot when I was growing up. It was by family, by teachers, by siblings, by friends, by everyone. I was a very introverted person. I was massively so just social anxiety through the roof, okay? I was always scared of I mean, I wouldn't even say I was scared, I just kind of didn't feel the need to be around people all the time. I enjoyed being by myself and, you know, when I would then do something that I thought was positive and I haven't, like, ever done it or done it in a long time, I'm then greeted by sarcasm. And that had a massive negative impact on me. So this is kind of a message for those people who are doing this to actually take a step back and realise that this is negativity towards positive situations. It's not okay, um, you, might, you might not think that it's a negative thing, you may think that it's totally, totally fine and you know you could probably do say these things to other people in other situations and they would take it okay. But when you're saying this to someone who has that anxiety, who doesn't very often do those things, they take that very negatively. And it can have a huge impact on their future, on their kind of, their personal feel about themselves, you know, their, their self-worth and their self-esteem. So this isn't necessarily me saying, you're terrible people if you do this, you know, your parenting is awful, how could you? It's simply a way of saying, this can be perceived as a very negative thing, depending on who this is said to. You know, if you're saying it to someone who, you know, does quite often do stuff, and on one particular day they've decided they want to spend time by themselves, and then come down and be like, look who finally decided to join us, then, you know, that's okay, because they're probably not going to see it as a negative thing. But like I said, if it's someone who doesn't do this often, and then you say that, they're not going to want to spend time with you. They're going to want to go back upstairs, put their earphones on, do their drawing and play games and stuff. So I guess this is just kind of be self-aware. Be aware of the situation that has come to you, the person that you're saying this to, or possibly even if you feel that you're kind of being... I don't know how to describe this, I want to say victimised, but that feels a little bit too aggressive. Um, so I guess I mean, if you feel like this is happening to you, you know, maybe have a chat and say, actually, it really upsets me when you say stuff like that, because it kind of feels like you're punishing me for doing something good. Um, 
something I never thought to say to my family or friends when this was happening because I felt too hurt. I, you know, I, I didn't want to confront it because I was scared of how that situation may be and now I think about it and think actually maybe if I'd have said that it would have, it would have fizzled out fine. But that doesn't mean that you should expect the person to tell you that they don't like it. You might be thinking, well, if they didn't like it, they'd say something. Not necessarily, they may be too nervous to, or actually be too upset by what's been said to say something. I hope that this has been useful in some way, rather than just me babbling to a camera. If you haven't seen my face before, then do click subscribe down below, and don't forget to press the notification button, because YouTube likes to not always show videos in the people who have posted things. So please do leave a comment down below and a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye, bye bye, bye.